know what I look like, but I just thought I'd mention this is actually Vlogmas Day 15, because I seem to have forgotten I've recorded this, and so it's not Vlogmas Day 10, this video is not. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Just remember it's day 15, not 10. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing like a natural no makeup, makeup look, that sort of thing, but maybe like a little bit romantic maybe. I'm only going to be using three products. So very simple, they're all drugstore, so cheap, affordable. The, it ranges from six pounds to nine pounds. Yeah, six pounds to nine pounds. So affordable uh, and I know it's a little bit darker this is this was the most this was the earliest opportunity I had to film usually I don't like filming when it's this dark but I'm a little bit behind on filming vlogmas videos so yeah and again did I say welcome to vlogmas day 10 no I didn't so welcome to vlogmas day 10 if you are new smash don't forget to subscribe down below I was about to say smash a big thumbs up but and you can do that if you want to and yeah let's just get into this video I'm not going to put anything on like my base like I'm not going to do like a base I'm going to start off with mascara And I'm going to be using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. And this is just the normal one, not the waterproof. And because it's like a no makeup makeup look, I'm going to wipe off as much excess as I possibly can. So that you've got minimal product on the brush. And let's just apply. So usually when I coat my lashes I'll do like underneath and then on top but because this is a more natural look I'm not going to do on top so I'm just going to move on to the next eye. Comment down below what your favourite drugstore mascara is, whether, no matter what country you're from, like comment down below your favourite drugstore mascara, because I'd love to know, because this is literally the only mascara I own, well, the only branded, and ones that I can remember how old they are, which sounds really bad. I'm next going to move on to highlight, and I'm going to be using the Revolution Pro 4K highlighter, I forgot to mention this was just under £9, so quite affordable. Obviously, if you only get like 20 quid a month like I do, it's a little bit pricey for that, but it is a good mascara. But like I said, I'm using the Revolution Pro 4K highlighter. It was £8, but you get four shadows, like four shades, so it's a really good price. And I'm going to, this is gold version, and I'm just going to be going with this like white eyes one, which even in the dark you can see how good that is. But because this is a more natural look, I'm going to tap off the excess. I think you could see the excess come off there. I'm not kidding. And it's all over my leg. And obviously we're only doing a light application so let's move on to the next sheet but see if you can I wanna I'm gonna look into the viewfinder for this but let's see uh if you can see the fallout you can see the fallout from that 
oh my god my leg is literally covered let's just do the other tube oh there we go reflection of the light there we go that's my lighting <laughs> joke there's the highlighter in that cheek things I do like my highlighter I'm gonna go in with like a soft wait I've not done my nose I will top off some excess but not all and yes I know I've got a big nose but I like highlight on my nose so on the forehead and some on the chin I don't like too much on the forehead or the chin at least not usually anyway but let's tell a ghost story I need to stop looking into like the viewfinder well just my phone screen but and if you want you can mix that on with a little bit of gold I'm going to because I love the gold so I looked at my cupid's bow. And there is the highlight, and obviously, you can see that. I do really love these highlighters. I'm just going to do a swatch of the gold so you can see, like, a comparison. They are so creamy as well. Let's just do the other two. I have got a review on this, but. how pretty they are obviously the bottom one is definitely too dark and that one is too dark but i could mix it with the white one to make it lighter but i'd probably use that sort of bronzy one as like an eyeshadow but i'm not going to for this video because i'm doing a little bit more natural even though i'm going to be putting on like a pink lip liquid lipstick but i find it very closely matches my natural lips so for me it's like a no makeup makeup look but yeah <sighs> my mirror is now covered in flecks of highlight what the hell like very closely matches does this look complete I know again it's very simple but it's like a no makeup makeup look so it's like yeah 
well it doesn't very closely match but it is very similar and I do really enjoy it but I don't wear it often and I wish I did <laughs> comment your favorite liquid lipstick liquid lip color that sort of thing down in the comment section because I'm always looking to try out new lipsticks actually yeah just comment your favorite lipsticks drugstore or high end okay now that is the end of this video if you guys enjoyed don't forget to smash a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below and comment any video ideas and that sort of thing and i'll see you guys in my next video bye